Hello, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Basile Explained Shakespeare. This will be a rather short lecture because we're talking about a very short set of lines. And those are the uh, famous final lines of the play delivered by Prince Aeschylus, the prince and ruler of Verona. And the final lines of the play are, as you can see down here, a glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned and some punished. For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Now, it's all well and good. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's sing-songy. It's everything the whole play has been. But in particular, we'll take a look at how we have a glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. How, yes, it's a gloomy day, the sun is showing its head, but this, even the sun is full of sorrow. So it may be daylight, but daylight's not showing. It's still dark out, it's still gloomy out. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned and some punished. So listen, I'm punishing some of you for your behavior, and I'm rewarding others with a pardon. You'll be excused for your ill behaviors. Presumably we're going to excuse the friar for his involvement because he is a holy man, but uh, some others may be punished for their role in the events of Romeo and Juliet's uh, eventual death here. And then he says, for never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. So you can't get a more depressing or sad story, one that's more full of woe, than Romeo and Juliet's story. And he's got a good point. It is pretty famous tragedy. We're still reading it, what, five, six hundred years later? We still think it's great. We still think it's wonderful, and everybody's reading it and studying it. There must be some truth to it. So uh, all um, verbal irony aside, it is excellent, and it's well done, and it's well said. And that's what makes it so famous. Although I suspect that part of the reason it's so famous is because it rhymes. It's that heroic couplet. You know, For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo doesn't have the same ring as, for never was a story of more woe than Romeo and Juliet. Just doesn't sound the same, doesn't flow as well. It's that heroic couplet, that two lines with the rhyme on the end that really locks and seals the deal for you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick little edition of Mr. Basile Explained Shakespeare. Have a great day.